we have discussed reliability validation and now we are heading towards critical system validation as far as we've discussed we said validating the reliability safety and security of computer based systems is it it comes under the head of critical systems validation it includes a list of static techniques such as design reviews program inspections mathematical arguments and proofs and so on and so forth as well as dynamic techniques which includes statistical testing scenario based testing run time checking etc now reliability validation it comes under dynamic validation techniques which i have stated we test the system while executing under test conditions and analyze our system under test that is the sut outside its operational environments we test during execution that the system is operating within a dependency envelope whereas reliability validation involves exercising the program to assess whether or not it has reached required level of reliability as i have already stated i have a refrigerator whose reliability is that it will work one year without any service requirements and after that it will start to malfunction nobody will try to purchase or nobody will purchase when there are systems which are giving reliability of lifetime unless there is an electric shock reliability as i have already defined the probability of failure free operation for a specified time in a specified environment i want to say आपने अपनी गाड़ी की ब्रेक्स लगवाई और ब्रेक पैड पे लिखा था कि जनाब अगर आप नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन में रहें तो ये तकरीबन 10 साल चलेगा अब बिटवीन 8 टू 12 इयर्स यू आर फ्री फ्रॉम एनी इशू और फ्री फ्रॉम दी दी प्रॉब्लम के ये बैट खराब हो जाएगा अप अगेंस्ट दैट वी नीड टू स्पेसिफाई अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दैट दिस सिस्टम विल वर्क अंडर नॉर्मल circumstances or under such circumstances in a fail safe manner aap imagine kare aapne ek software develop kiya jo ek server pe aapne use deploy kiya lekin it was after every 5 to 10 minutes whenever there was a message box opening it was leaking 4k of memory after a specified period of time ये खुद तो इसकी एग्जीक्यूटिबल या इसका साइज जो कि ऑन द सिस्टम चल रहा है वो ब्लो अप कर ही जाएगा मे बी के काफ़ी सारे और एप्लीकेशन को भी स्लो डाउन कर दे सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट एज पार्ट ऑफ द टेस्टिंग प्रोसेस कि ये सिस्टम कितना अच्छा चलेगा कितना फेल सेफ होगा कितना रिलायबल होगा कैन नॉट बी इंक्लूडेड एज पार्ट ऑफ द नॉर्मल डिफेक्ट टेस्टिंग process because data for defect testing is usually atypical of actual usage data statistical testing must be used ab issue statistical testing kya hai ye abhi agle usme uh, uh, slide mein aa jayegi whereas statistically significant data sample based on simulated usage is used to assess the reliability what is statistical testing testing software for reliability rather than fault detection dekhiye fault detection kya hai i want to find out defects in a program reliability i want to see how many let's say number of days how many number of hours a stipulated amount of time this system will be working free of defects or it will be working as i have defined in my previous slide it the, the probability of failure free operation for a specified time in a specified environment failure free we measure the number of errors and allow the reliability of the software to be predicted test data from our test process is used for this purpose and process kya overall we construct an operational profile which is a set of test data whose frequency matches actual frequency 
of these inputs from normal usage of the system. We construct test data reflecting the operational profile and test the system and observe the number of failures and the times of these failures. Eventually, what, we, what do we want to say? We want to establish a measure of reliability. We compute reliability after a statistically significant number of failure. So, this is a statistic, statistical measure. This is not an exact measure or a 100% statement. It, it will vary with a kind of, let's say, 5%, 10%, which will be uh, 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 calculated as well. Safety assurance. It is design validating and checking the design to ensure that the hazards do not arise or they can be handled without causing any accident. Code validation, testing the system to check the conformance of the code to its specification and to check that the code is true implementation of the design. Ye choti -choti definitions jo leke chal rahe, runtime validation. Designing safety checks while the system is in operation to ensure that it does not reach unsafe state. Now we have defined certain terms such as design validation, code validation, runtime validation. We are doing security validation has something in common with safety validation. What is that? It is intended to demonstrate that the system cannot enter some state which is unsafe or insecure rather than to demonstrate that the system can do something ye different hogi ji baat however there are differences kya ji safety problems are accidentally they happen accidentally security problems are deliberate for example a security breach is deliberate accidental deliberate safety problems need different kind of handling environment or handling routines whereas security problems which are deliberate for example a hacker has gone into your bank's data this was a deliberate activity security problems are more generic safety problems relate to application domain so safety problem agar aayegi to application domain ke saath koi na koi uska relation hoga security problem it is generic it has something to do with misuse of an application. 